Welcome to our lecture online and here in the spirit of doing some more relative velocity problems here's some couple of really classic problems. Uh, here we have a river that's flowing to the right at 2 meters per second and a person in a boat making a trip from A to B and then back from B to A. So from A to B is downriver with the current from B to A is upriver against the current. We were told that going with the current it takes 20 minutes to go from A to B turn the boat around coming back it takes 40 minutes to come back and the question is how fast can this boat travel relative to the water all right so the question then becomes what is the v of the boat relative to the water that it's in so the way you approach a problem like this is to realize that the distance traveling in both directions is equal so that means that the distance going from a to b must equal the distance going from b back to a and then we also have the equation that distance is equal to velocity times time so now we have to plug in the velocity and the time for each occasion here so for going from a to b the velocity of the boat relative to the shore will equal the velocity of the boat relative to the water plus the velocity of the water of the river so that means that this will be the velocity of, well actually let me write it like this so this will be uh, V from A to B times the time from A to B and that must equal V from B to A times the time from B to A there we go so that way at least it makes a little more sense now let's plug in what those velocities are so going from A to B the velocity of the boat relative to the shore will be equal to the velocity of the boat relative to the water plus the velocity of the river. So this will be V of the boat plus V of the river times the time going from A to B. And that equals the velocity going from B back to A. Now that velocity will be less. It will be the velocity of the boat minus the velocity of the river because the velocity of the river now is in the opposite direction. So this becomes velocity of the boat minus the velocity of the river and that would be times the time going from B back to A. All right, let's plug in numbers now. So here we have um, the boat is, well, we don't know what it is that we're looking for, plus 2. I'll just leave the units out because it's easier. And uh, times the time. Uh, the time would be, let's say, 20 minutes. Of course, we don't want it in minutes. We want it in terms of seconds, so we'll multiply times 60 to go from minutes to seconds. Actually, the units in seconds and minutes will just cancel out, but just to show that I want to keep it in standard units, this is equal to velocity of the boat, which we're looking for, minus the velocity of the river, which is 2, times the time come back, which is 40 minutes, and of course, we convert that to seconds like that. Now, right away, you realize I didn't need to convert because I simplified the equation. 60 cancel out with 60. 20 and 40, I can divide both sides by 20. This becomes 1, and this becomes 2. So now I can go ahead and rewrite the equation. So I have the velocity of the boat plus 2 is equal to 2 times the velocity of the boat minus 2. And I have to solve that equation, of course, for the velocity of the boat. Multiplying uh, the right side and get rid of the parentheses, we have V sub B plus 2 equals 2 V sub B minus 4. Coming up here to finish the problem, I'm going to move all the V sub B's to the left, all the numbers to the right. So we have a V sub B minus 2 times V sub B is equal to minus 4, and that would be minus 2, right? So I move the 2 V sub B to the left becomes minus, move the 2 to the right becomes a minus as well. Combine like terms, so we have minus V sub B is equal to minus 6, or V sub B is equal to 6, and the units, of course, would be meters per second. Alright, so the velocity of the boat relative to the water is 6 meters per second. Then of course, relative to the land, to the side of the river, when he's going downstream, he's going at 8 meters per second, 6 plus 2. When he turns around and goes back the other way, he is only going at 4 meters per second relative to the shore, which would be 6 minus 2. Since 6 minus 2 of 4 is half of 8, that means it would take him twice as long to come back, and that's exactly what we found. So looks like we did a good, good job here and got the right answers. But that's how you do a classic problem like that.